Hello friends, welcome. So today I have these priority mail envelopes with this huge um, window here in the front. And when I saw these at the post office, I thought how fun would the, these be to alter. And so today that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking these envelopes and turning it into this. <laughs> so if you uh, like what you see, and you want to uh, join me as I create one of these, um, yeah, stick around and we will do that here. These are 10 by 5 inches and they're priority flat mail envelopes. So basically you just stick your envelope inside, uh, postage has to be already canceled out by a USPS employee. And yeah, and then you set a uh, pay extra, of course, for it to uh, be sent off priority mail. And so, yeah, I had a lot of fun with making these. And basically, I turned these into like kind of uh, scraps and like I put scraps and stuff on this one. And then the other one just says springtime. So I'm going to be turning in these into kind of like an ephemera holder or like a scrap holder. Um... You can put like stickers in it, pretty much anything you want. You can turn into a little mini album. Um, yeah, so I'll show you exactly how I do that. You can use uh, pretty much um, anything you want to decorate. I just had some scraps here from a swap that we did. And I was going to probably fill up the envelope with some of those scraps, which is what kind of inspired this project in the first place. I had so many scraps and I just wanted a place to put them all. So I'm going to be using that paper pack uh, for this. And I picked out originally these five uh, prints for the inside of the envelope. And I like these because they had like this uh, gold foil link all to them. And I thought it was really pretty and really nice uh, springy colors and spring pack here. And so I have these envelopes. You can take whatever uh, envelope you would like to use for these for this project. If you don't have these, that's fine. Uh, I have some scissors here, bone folder, some washi tape, uh, some trim or you know decorations, whatever you want to decorate uh, your project with. I just wanted to show this glue real quick. It is on sales art glitter glue and I'll have it in the description below if anyone's interested in it. And so yeah, so here I'm just going to open this envelope up. And um you can do this just slowly with your with your hands. I mean you don't need any tools to open this. Um there's a little bit of glue there, but yeah, it doesn't do too much damage when you open it. Like so. Um and so you want to have um, pretty much what I'm planning on doing here is putting these two uh, together and kind of have like the front and the back of it and then I'll have like these envelopes in the middle here and so I first started using um, this double sided tape and applying the uh, decorative paper here that I have and um I actually wanted to put this a little bit further out because, um, yeah, you can pretty much use less of the print. And so I end up pulling it off and then like re uh, moving all those papers around. But pretty much later on, you'll see me do a, a lot easier here where I'll just um, cut it to size, right? Just take out your cutting um, board and you can just cut it Um to size so like whatever print you want on the inside here you can just go ahead and cut it to that size which I think was a 10 by 5 inches so yeah that's the easiest way um, to do that and here I just was cutting around it as you can see and then I was like wait a minute I could have just cut that down <laughs> instead of doing it that way but yeah I mean can do it however you really want to do it and then I was just measuring it again which I already had the measurements there I was just checking to make sure again um if that was accurate uh, okay and then 
I end up deciding that um, I'm going to need some tracing paper <laughs> um, to go ahead and put this front cover on. And if you don't have tracing paper, you may be able to like use some vellum or any like really thin or light a piece of paper to kind of like trace out that window piece. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to end up doing here. And again, I mean, you can use whatever... Uh, you can decoupage, you can um, use, I, I would say that it's easier if you have um, thinner paper. I have like this cardstock, which is a little thicker. I think it's 65 pound weight cardstock and um, it just makes it a little more difficult to uh, fold and crease those, um, those um, ends of the paper as you can see there. And so again, this time I started, you see, I, I just cut the paper to down to size, which is what I should have done originally. But yeah, my brain wasn't functioning that well at that moment. <laughs> so yeah, I was just saying here also on the inside, you can either cut the strips like this, but I actually end up um cutting that out all together so it doesn't show on the other side because what was happening was those corners were kind of like long and so that white piece was showing so that's why I kind of put the print on that side and you can do it that way if you like if you want it to be more like um more space to put items in because that's like a bigger flap um but yeah I ended up just cutting that a little thinner like a little you know not so far out so that you won't be able to see it as much you can see a little bit there well you can't really see it too much once I applied the same print um yeah so now I'm just gonna go ahead and trace this whole thing out and when you trace it you want to make sure that you're tracing the right side of the paper and so I kind of like label front um and then back and yeah, you'll see that here. And I just go ahead and grab a pencil and trace that whole thing out. And if you have a ruler, it kind of helps with the straight lines. And so, yeah, you don't need a ruler, but if you have one, it'll help make those lines nice and straight. And so this part is uh, pretty simple and self-explanatory, I think, just tracing all around the edges um I do think it's important to note that you need to make sure you know which side you're working with because um yeah you could mess up if you don't you know trace it onto the other side or cut it onto the actual uh, paper correctly um so before cutting just make sure that the uh, print is facing the right way as of the envelope um, because I did do that mistake <laughs> so I thought it was important to note that and I'm just putting a dotted line here to where um, that fold is and then I just marked fold and back and front as you can see there so yeah that's where that crease is and I do end up um, later on showing like how I uh, use a scoreboard to you know get those creases in um that's that was the biggest issue I think I came across is just because the paper was so thick and there was you know the envelope paper um plus the you know cardstock it was a lot you know to try and fold and maneuver so if you can work with something like napkin you know decoupage or um like a thinner weight paper i think that would be more ideal and i think it'll come out a lot uh easier and nicer you probably won't have as many issues as i did or maybe you're just a pro at this stuff and you know you just won't come across the same amount of uh issues i had but yeah, I'm just using uh, these little tiny fussy cut scissors. This is the Tim Holtz uh, scissors here from his collection. And yeah, so I ended up actually taking 
some solid colors from that same paper pack and using that as the outside um, layer. And then I had a lot of scraps, so I ended up using those scraps to decorate the outside of the envelope. And then um, later on, I'm going to be making tags and whatever else um, with the scraps that I had um, from this project. For this part to cut out that uh, where the uh, window is, I used this X-Acto knife. Um, so any like sharp blade like this um, will be ideal. If you don't have it, you can always just... Um, pinch the middle and just cut the middle with a scissors and then you know try to go around it that way um but yeah i'm just kind of like carving it out like a pumpkin right like just i'm um, going around it and i'm like carving it out that way and then i take the fussy cut scissors and go around it again um so that's how you kind of get that whole you know window to to fit nicely uh, with the cardstock but um yeah sometimes it's hard to line it up or like if it doesn't come out like clearly on there you know after you fold it, it things start kind of shifting at least that's what um the things you know the problems I was coming across with this uh but later on as you can see there's there's remedies and ways around that right if it doesn't line up you can always decorate or cover it okay so my daughter just walked in and i had to take a moment but uh i was saying yeah like you can see here that i'm um trying to line it up here and making sure that everything is lined up evenly but once um you can do all that but once you kind of like uh get it on there when you start to fold the papers they kind of shift so what i end up doing here I'm going to show you kind of how I like remedy that and try to like fix those issues. Uh, the biggest thing here is is uh, creasing everything before putting the papers on there. So I did this a couple times uh, back and forth uh, on both sides and just kept creasing it. And then I'm just going out over it now with the eraser and just going around uh, those pencil lines where I originally had uh, traced on there and so so yeah I think that was my biggest issue was getting it on here and at first I think I used the double-sided tape and it kind of like tore the whole thing up and I was like okay that didn't line up very nicely so here I was just measuring to make sure that they both uh, were even and it was even and everything did line up. But again, like I said, the issue wasn't whether or not the size was correct. I think it was more so um, the folding it and, and the, sh the paper is just sh naturally shifting um, because of the bulk there. And so you see me here now applying all of this double-sided tape, which um, wasn't the best idea. I wanted to keep this on here to just kind of like show like, you know, uh, my mistakes in case anyone comes across similar issues when doing uh, these altered envelopes, right? Because I know like there's a lot of times we try these things out and it just isn't working and we're trying to figure out why <laughs> um so i think it's important to like leave these type of things in here like when you do something wrong um yes this is kind of like a tutorial like i'm kind of trying to show but i'm also like you know showing you exactly like what's happening here <laughs> like you know where i went wrong and you know basically what you can do to fix it and so you can see like that envelope is starting to like get all damaged but that was okay i ended up having to just recut that um purple paper good thing i did have um extra left right i think that pack came with like three of the same sheets of each print so that was really good and i was able to just you know take that off and i used whatever i can salvage for like the fussy cuts later on and to decorate it and then um yeah, I just kind of went and redid the whole process again. Um, and sometimes that happens, right? We have to do that. And yeah, it's just all part of the process. And I just wanted to keep that in here. 
um, to show you that, like, it happens and, you know, what you can do to kind of, like, fix that, uh, those issues. And so what I ended up doing was using uh, the wet glue, so, like, that art glitter glue that you saw me show you there. Um, it is on sale on Amazon, so if anyone is interested, the link will be in the description box and along with anything else that I'm using here. Um, if you're interested in any of the tools and whatnot, that will also be in the description box. Um, and I just wanted to note that also, um, if you use any of those links, they are, um, affiliate links. And so I do get a small, a very, very small commission. Um, if you do use my links, what I, which I would appreciate if you did use them. So thank you so much if you do use them. Also, I want to know, uh, while we're doing this here, you know, you're just watching me cut here again. Um, I just wanted to note that for the month of April, I am doing a, a giveaway. And the way the giveaway works is all you have to do is, um, pretty much be a subscriber to the channel, like the video, and just comment in the comment section below so that way um, I can enter your name um, there. Uh, I'm going to probably be doing it towards the end of the month and like beginning of the next month. So if anyone is interested in that giveaway, uh, pretty much all the projects that I've done in the month of uh, April and a couple from March uh, will be giving away uh yeah and the giveaway and maybe a couple of other uh goodies you know like uh journaling goodies and whatnot so so yeah so that's what the giveaway is about and i um it's just a way of you know saying thank you uh for all your support during this new journey and so you saw there i uh went and put the the wet glue and that worked out so much better than putting um all that um double-sided tape because with the double-sided tape it dries so quick and this art glitter glue doesn't give me much time either but it gives me a little more time than uh i had with the the double-sided tape right there's like no grace given there like once it's on there it's on there and it's stuck and it's you know, if you try to remove it, it'll damage the papers. And so, yeah, so you see me just gluing those tabs on the side. I already had cut them so they don't show on the other side. So if you're using the same exact envelope, you can do it that way where you just cut off the edges a little bit. So that way it doesn't show um, on that side of the paper. So through the, uh, through the window, that was the problem I had in the beginning. And so you can see there, it's a pretty big envelope, which could fit a lot of stuff in there. And yeah, so I'm showing you here again that I'm like squaring those lines. I think that was like the most important part, like making sure that those score lines are really in there. And you fold it like several times before putting it on the paper. And then when you're gluing it on, you want to glue it on in a uh, portions so like you want to take like one part glue that part then glue the other half on and so on and I found that a lot easier than just trying to stick it all on at once <laughs> and if you have some papers that just aren't lining up you can go ahead and just trim the edges off you know and yeah I hope by me explaining this uh this way you're able to follow along and and have a good time just crafting hopefully don't make the same mistakes i made through here i just I'm trying to make it a little easier for for you all watching um yeah so i kind of made my mistakes along the way and you know i'm sure you know everyone is has their own thing that they may struggle with but yeah hopefully me explaining these things um helps out a little bit <laughs> so i like I said, I kind of put the glue around this area first and I fold it in half and I kind of just put that bottom piece first. So like you're going to see here, just that bottom piece and then I go ahead and lay it down and I'm just checking both sides now to make sure it's nice and even and it's looking good to me. 
And so that's when I go ahead and uh, glue down the rest of it. And it was so much easier because I had already creased all these uh, pieces. And also what I end up doing is kind of trimming that um, inner flap as well. The one with the pattern there. And kind of trim it down just a little bit so that it closes nicely as well underneath that flap. Um, so yeah, if you want to do that, you can also do that. It kind of just helps out with the, you know, the big bulk there. Um, when putting that flap down, the the top flap down. And later on, I'm pretty much going to be uh, cutting some of this, this flap down as well. So it won't be as long. So yeah, I guess um, I just was thinking like I, I walked in to the po post office to... Um, mail some uh happy mail and then i saw these huge envelopes there and i was like oh my goodness i have not seen these but this these are so cool and um yeah pretty much the post office has them there you know free to use um of course you do have to pay for them um if you're sending priority but um they do have them there you know, for, for your use, and so I took a few and decided to alter these envelopes, and yeah, I think this turned out really, really, um, uh, really good, and I had a lot of fun with these, I've never used, like, such a huge envelope before to do this, I've always used the smaller envelopes, and so this was a little bit new to me and it was obviously uh, challenging because of the, the other way I altered those envelopes before I did like the decoupage with napkins and that was like so much easier. I've never actually tried to use like actual cardstock before, um, at least this much. Like if I used some cardstock, it was probably like just a little bit to de decorate the front but not the whole entire envelope the way I did this time so there was uh quite a little bit of um challenges here and yeah trial and error and just learning um as I go and so I didn't make any like previously i just was recording as i was doing this also that's why i think the voiceover is good so i can kind of explain where i kind of messed up on certain things and where you know it kind of went wrong and how i fixed those things so yeah i hope i'm able to explain that um and just make it a lot easier for you when you try to do something like that with the the cardstock and Again, you're seeing me here cut that window out. And as you can see, it's getting a lot easier each time. So I'm sure like, you know, with anything, the more you do it, the more you practice, the better you'll get. So yeah, I'm also using this um, scoring board to go ahead and score this on here. Oh, see this is where I kind of I think I did the wrong side yes I did I did the the wrong side here so that's what I was telling you in the beginning that you gotta you want to make sure that you actually you know cut the right side of it so you can see there I'm like oh no what did I do <laughs> so I have to go back and actually cut that so again I'm leaving all this in here so you guys could kind of see like you know where I mess up and yeah, this, this time is a little different. I normally would, like, edit this type of stuff out of it. And I don't know. Some people may not want to see this part. And some people may enjoy seeing, you know, the errors. And maybe, um, like I said, can kind of, you know, learn from those mistakes that I made. But I just wanted to put that in there uh, this time. I'm probably not going to do that for future videos i don't know depending on how many people actually enjoy uh me doing it this way it does make it a lot longer 
um, which is why I kind of forward through a lot of the video. As you can see, I've sped up the entire video to make it a little, uh, go by a little quicker, but I did leave in a lot of this stuff that I was, you know, messing up on and fixing. I could have edited all of this stuff out, but again, like I said, I just wanted to leave it in there, um, because I think it might help someone else. So hopefully that is true and it does help in some way so yeah there you go i fixed it and i'm back here again and i just want to show you again the way i kind of like put this glue on the bottom so i'm just gonna put it all around here and then i'm gonna go ahead and take just that bottom piece kind of fold it back and then push it forward again so you can kind of see that here just lining it up um and i think that way it made it a lot easier <laughs> Um, so you see how nicely that went on very smooth and again I already creased this so like folding it shouldn't be an issue here as you can see and yeah I didn't put the decorative paper on in the inside all the way to the bottom I kind of left that little gap that little space um, to use less of that decorative paper and yeah, so like you see the the progress here, it's it's coming together a little easier and better here. I mean, I did mess up because I did do it, you know, I cut it the wrong side at first, but yeah, it happens. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah, I'm just going ahead and putting some glue in those little uh, crevices to make sure that everything's nice and glued down. The back here, I go and use... Um, the double sided tape uh, so there's no bulk and I think it's nice and smooth for the back there the side edges I go ahead and use this wet glue the arc glitter glue on the sides and yeah it just holds really nicely so I'm kind of going back and forth you know with double sided tape as you can see here for the flap I use double sided tape and then you know for certain areas I'm using the wet glue so yeah and definitely this bone folder is great to like get all of this nice and down especially when you're using such thick paper you want to make sure that these creases are nice and uh flat and you know the bulk is just not it's not so bulky so that's kind of what that helps with again i'm doing another one here so um normally when i do these i like to do a ton of them right like i like to do a bunch well this specifically was going to be like a file folder type thing so there's going to be several but i end up making two um out of these so you're pretty much going to see you know the inside and, and how it all comes together here shortly but um yeah i think it's good like when you're working on a lot of these projects that you do more than one just so that you have multiple like this is a good way of like building your stash um to put in your journals or for happy mail whatever you have planned um i just like to do things like uh kind of mass uh, making or creating like several of the same things um not just making one of them so that's pretty much you're seeing here I'm making a couple of the same for this one and so if you're crafting along with me I hope you're having a good time and yeah and not messing up as much as I did <laughs> and you're learning from my mistakes here but I hope yours comes out really really nice and depending on what kind of paper you use or what medium you have or what not um yeah there's so many different ways you can decorate with this i mean depending on the different kind of paper packs you use i kind of use like this spring theme paper pack just because it's spring and i was feeling the springy <laughs> mood and just wanted to use this pack um because i've had it there for quite some time now so yeah i figured why not use it and um yeah depending on the paper pack you use i mean you can use like a vintage uh have like a vintage look or you can use like book pages i think book pages is really good because they're thin and i think they'll line up really nicely on here similar to a napkin like when you decoupage um yeah so like those thin papers i think will be really really good for this um 
but yeah, I, I kind of want to do this again with like different different papers. I mean, I think it makes it just look so different depending on what kind of uh, prints and paper you use. So yeah, the project can look completely different depending on that, right? So here are the four of them that I'm going to put, I think, in one of the the envelopes or file file i don't even know what to call this like what is it uh what kind of like a i want to say like an ephemera holder because that's i mean pretty much what i'm going to be putting it in right like a well, a, sca- a scrap holder or scrapbook holder or folder i don't know but yeah i mean it could even be considered like you know uh album like for pictures I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and glue these two, like the front and the back together, like I had showed you before. And just lining that up, making sure everything is nice and even. And that our glitter glue pretty much uh, dries pretty quickly as well. I think you have like a few seconds uh, to wiggle it around, but it dries pretty quickly and it's stuck on there. Right? Like if I try to remove it, the papers will rip. So, so yeah, you see there, I, I trimmed the middle. Like I said, I was going to trim that, that flap. Um, so, depending on how you do it, I mean, you might want to leave it longer or cut it even shorter than I did. Um, yep, and then I'm just trimming down whatever excess uh, paper here. And then I just, like, seal it and glue it again if, if I opened any of those crevices. And now I'm just using this hope, um, this punch here to, it's like a tab, like to, to show like where the pocket is. And I do that with all the pockets, like all the areas where there's a pocket. So I go ahead and do the same thing with all of them. And I'm just trying to figure out here where I want to put this on next pocket in the middle like you know this envelope on this side and so I end up putting the uh, scrapbook paper like a coordinating uh, scrapbook paper from that paper pack and just you put it on one side and then I'm gonna go ahead and take another one the same size it was about a five by ten inches I trimmed it down just a little bit to fit nicely inside uh, so yeah, 10 by 5 inches and the inside same uh, size as well. Just trim down a little bit on each end just so that it fits nicely inside. And that'll form a pocket. So we're just going to go ahead and glue around that edge. We're not going to close the whole pocket there. We're going to leave it as like a side pocket. Um, coming in horizontally, not vertically. So... Yeah, so that's what you're going to see me do here. I'm just gluing that on. So you see, I'm just gluing those around that edge and I'm leaving that open. I'm not gluing the whole thing, as you can see there. Oh, and then I kind of take out a little bit of glue there and then put it a little further up. So you don't want it to hit like the very edge there. You want to give a little bit of space so that way when it closes, it closes nice and, and flat and there's no bulk. So you see, I left like... A tiny bit of space there as you can see where the white space is um, so that way that can fold nicely and so if you made it this far in the video and you are having fun crafting with me please don't forget uh, before you go to like the video and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and feel free to subscribe it's free and yeah, hit that bell notification so you'll get notified every time I create a new video. And so that is it. I'm done here. So as you can see, I have the middle flap. That's what I was just putting together. And you can also add something like this. If you wanted to add more, you can just put it in there and just, you know, have it attached. But you're going to see that on uh, through the window on the other side. But yeah, um, I actually am going to use this to make another one. So... I have two here. Um, if you have two extra envelopes, you can just go ahead and glue those two on together. And then take two decorative uh, sheets of five, uh, 10 by 5 inches 
and make that the middle flap. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. So I, um, I'm going to just take these two. That's the front and the back. You're going to glue those two together in the middle there. As you can see, just glue those um, front tabs together. And then from there, you can uh, create the middle pocket with two decorative sheets. So before I did that, I was just cutting um, those little round edges there with the corner punch to um, make that, you know, pocket known there in the corner inside. And so, yeah, we just cleaned out this glue because I forgot to put the lid on. So there we go. It's coming out now. And yeah, I'm just going to glue those two on. So you, you're, you're going to see this here again in case uh, you missed it the first time I did it. I go ahead and trim the middle piece, which were those flaps, right? That's the two top flaps of the envelope. Just gluing those two together, folding them on each side, and then I'm just trimming that. I mean, you don't really have to do that step. Um, you could leave it as it was, or you could even trim it shorter than I did. But yeah, that's just where we're going to add that third um little flap there which is going to become a middle pocket and yeah I'm just checking the front and the back making sure that it lines up again when you're working with such thick paper like this sometimes things start to shift so that was what I was um dealing with there and so anyways I go ahead and take the um two decorative papers that I, I chose like this polka dot and then this floral one and I'm just going to go ahead and glue those together on each side um depending on how you want to insert your like you know how to have the pocket you could either either have it a top loading pocket um or a side one like i did i ended up just gluing the top edge um and the bottom edge and then that was just like a side loading pocket yeah then you can do it that way so and then just yeah i was adding the glue to the actual paper instead of gluing it there because I kind of wanted to make sure that those sheets were even um, before placing it down so that's what I was doing making sure that those uh, sheets lined up and then went and glued it down and again if it doesn't line up perfectly to your liking you can always just trim it again trim it down and so there goes that punch again just punching in that little tab there little knot whatever you call that for the um the pocket and so now i'm just creating these uh little pockets to put inside um and i'm using vellum here you can use any kind of decorative paper or vellum whatever you'd like to use and so this is real simple you're just gonna fold the two edges in you know a half inch or whatever you would like and then that bottom and then just of course cut out those little tiny squares on each corner and that's it and you just glue it on i think that's like a real basic simple pocket <laughs> um yeah and you can just go ahead and glue that on i end up doing this um for like all of those uh those four sides so i end up doing this off camera and i'm just gonna uh, test it out test this out and see if that fits i also go ahead and put these little corner edges there again and punch that out on all the pockets and so i end up decorating this all off camera because there was quite a bit and the video was getting lengthy so yeah at this point I mean, you can go ahead and decorate however you like the inside. I end up including quite a bit of pockets. Uh, I do layer some pockets on top of each other to just give it, um, you know, more space to put things in. Uh, I had a lot of ephemera and scraps that I wanted to put in here. And so I wanted to make sure that there was enough pockets uh, for all that to fit in. And yeah, I had so much fun making this and I hope you do too. Um, again, I'm going to do all of the decorating off camera just because there's quite a bit uh, to decorate here. 
and that would just take like forever like this video would be maybe like a two hour video um but yeah this process is a little lengthy and it took me uh some time so i did one part one night and then the other part another night so yeah like the decorating the covers i had to do the next day so um yeah it's it was a process <laughs> And so I'm just uh, going and fitting my scraps in here, as you can see. And then here is this beauty after it's all decorated. And I just went and just cut out a ton of uh, flowers and butterflies from the pieces of scraps that came out of uh, making this uh, altered envelope. And... Yeah, I'm going to show you inside now how everything looks with some of the ephemera. I just included a couple of this, these little pieces um, from this uh, Easter kit. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. So if anyone's interested in that kit, it was just a Hobby Lobby Easter ephemera kit. It came in a pack and you may have seen it in one of my haul videos. And so, yeah, I love the way this came out. Um, as you can see here, there's just so many pockets. And, um, yeah, it's a great place to put all your, your little fancy items. <laughs> um, I kind of kept this like a springy look and springy theme. So, like, where I want to keep all my little springy items. And then when I want to go ahead and make a project, I can just take this this out and um, use all these little fun items here and I have uh, quite a bit um, that I'm gonna put here so that was the back and again you can put a lot of stuff in the front of this envelope so right now it's plain just because it's showing the decorative paper but you can put stuff in there as well and so you see I layered all these butterflies I added some jewels um, I layered a lot of this stuff and then I kind of put um, happy spring in the front the other one said uh scrappy and uh, scraps and stuff <laughs> in the front and so yeah again i just used the same papers from that paper pack it's like a spring theme paper pack i showed you in the beginning of the video and you can see that pocket in the middle there can fit quite a bit and there's three pockets here in this area you can fit quite a bit in there as well so lots and lots of pocket space uh, to put stuff in that's the back i didn't decorate it too much i just kind of left a little plan to put some lace on the bottom little butterfly and that was it i hope you enjoyed and i will see you later bye